Hi everyone, this is Anurag. Today in this session we are going to see how to create files. Okay, so here we will see different methods how to create file. What is a file? File, file is a collection of some information. There are three methods to create a file. Those are cat, vi, touch. In this session we will see how to create files by using these methods, how to remove files and also we will see some concept called as linking files and hidden files. Let us see how to create files by using cat. So by using cat method. Okay. I have logged as root user cat space greater than symbol f1. We use this command to create a new file. When we give this command automatically here cursor will be blinking. Cursor is blinking means a file f1 is created and in that file we are present in that file. Now we need to enter some data. I entered data like this a, b, c, uh, p, q, r. I have entered data like this. Okay. Then I have pressed control c. Why we use this? To save data and quit from the file. Okay. Then I want to see the data present in f1 file. We can use cat space f1 or we can use more space f1. Why we use these commands? To see contents of the file. To see the contents of the file, we use these commands. Now what it will show? It will show a, b, c, p, q, r. Now let us see how to append a file. Let us see how to append data into a file. For example, this file is created. Now I want to add some more data. Cat space double greater than symbol F1. This is to append a file. Append means add some data to the file. Okay. So again cursor will be blinking here. I have entered 1, 2, 3. Okay. And in the next line I have pressed Ctrl C. Now if I see the contents by using cat space F1, it will show the contents as ABC, PQR, 1, 2, 3. Like this we can edit a file, uh, sorry, append a data to a file by using cat method. But there are several disadvantages with this cat method. Wha what are those disadvantages are? You or we cannot edit a file by using cat. That means here PQR is there. I want to change it to some XYZ. I cannot. Okay. See, I have pressed Control C in the new line. If I press in the same line, this data will not be saved. That is the second uh, disadvantage. Now, the third thing is, if we create a file with, if we create file with existing file name, okay? If we create a file with existing file name, automatically the data in file is removed ok automatically the data if I create a file now see this if I give cat space greater than symbol f1 to create a file when we give this a new file will be you know new data suppose you have we have entered new data suppose uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and press the control C in the next line now what will happen if I give cat space f1 what it will show 1 2 3 4 5 that means this previous data is removed is it good no that's why there are several disadvantages with cat command so to overcome all these disadvantages a new method was introduced called as vi so let us see how to use vi so vi vi space f2 here f2 is a file name okay this is the command this is the only command to create a file to add data into file okay edit a file and also see contents of a file okay when we give this a blank page will appear when I give vi space f2 that means f2 file is created now we are in we are in the file f2 here press i press i when we press i we will go to insertion mode 
then only you can enter data into this file okay suppose i have entered a b c d e that's it and i want to come out of the file for that use escape colon to come out of insertion mode and give w q here w to save the file to save the data in the file q to quit from the file sometimes if it is sometimes if it is not possible to come out of the file then use this exclamatory mark that is forcefully forcefully quit okay you can if you want to see the data again give vi space f2 okay like this for everything to create a file to see the data of a file to add data into the file and everything we use the same command here if i forgot that i have created file f2 and if i create a new file with existing file name that means like this if i create a file with existing file name automatically this page will appear and this data can be seen we can as a result unknowingly we cannot remove the data by using vi by intentionally if you want to remove you can remove but unknowingly we cannot remove the data in the file by using vi this is a excellent feature that is present in vi editor so let us see next method called as touch now next method is touch what is this touch let us see previously by using cat or vi we have created single file at a time but by using touch we can create multiple files simultaneously simultaneously we can create multiple files how can i how can we create multiple files simultaneously let us see touch f3 space f4 space f5 space f6 space f7 like this i have created multiple files simultaneously by using touch command but by using touch we can create files but we cannot add data into these files okay to add data into these files any of these files again use cat or vi whichever is required okay this is about touch now let us see how to create hidden files there is a concept called as hidden files why we hide the file hidden files why we hide the file first of all suppose this file is suppose uh, there is a file that file is having very important data that data should not be displayed to each and every user that data should have should have got for that data we should provide security for that purpose for providing security we will hide that file hide hidden file is represented like this dot fn this is fn is dot fn is a file name how to create a hidden file by using cat or vi just cat space greater than symbol f1 or you can also use vi space f2 like this we can create hidden files same to edit the data to modify the data everything same command okay if i give the command ls which shows the list of contents it will show normal files and normal directories it won't show hidden files to see hidden files also to see hidden files we should give the command ls space hyphen a it will show the hidden files and normal files and normal directories okay now let us see how to remove the files to remove a file we use the command rm space file name to remove a, a, a hidden file we use rm space dot f1 okay it will ask again are you sure you want to delete f1 sorry are you sure should i remove f1 it will ask question okay we should type yes otherwise it won't remove the file okay if you want to remove multiple files simultaneously you can use rm space hyphen rf f sorry star here star means all r means recursively and f means forcefully recursively and forcefully we are removing all the files by using this command okay now let us see how to create a co file called as linked file so let us see the concept of linked files here okay what is a linked file it is just a pointer to actual file okay just like in windows operating system there is shortcut shortcut to some uh, icon it will be there right that uh, same like that pointer to actual file for example there is a file f1 okay instead of accessing this file one we will create a linked file
called f2 over this file that means the contents of f1 we can see through f2 let us see with the example let us see cat space f1 which shows contents of f1 1 2 3 if i give if i create a, f, a f2 which is a link file to f1 you can see cat space f2 same data 1 2 3 can be displayed okay this is a pointer to the actual file now let us see the types of linked files there are uh, mainly two types of linked files what are they types they are soft link and hard link ok how to create a soft link by using the command ln space hyphen s f1 space f2 to create a hard link we use the command ln space f1 space f3 for example this is a soft link and this is a hard link just eliminate the option hyphen s ok so what is the difference between the soft link and hard link see same data if a linked file is created same data you can see let us see cat space f1 it is showing data like this 1 2 3 if i have created linked file f2 cat space f2 it will also show the same data i have created a hard link called f3 cat space f3 it will also show the same data suppose here if i remove file f1 okay again if i give cat space f1 it will throw error that file doesn't exist if i give if i see the data through f2 it will also say that file doesn't exist but if i give cat space f3 it will show the data understood right this is the difference between a soft link and hard link again if you create a file let us see in the next page suppose again you create a file cat space f1 here i have given a b c okay and now our f2 file also will show the same data a b c but our hard link that is f3 will show data 1 2 3 that is previous data itself understood right the difference between linked files hard link and soft link same to remove this files again use rm space hyphen rf file name or rm space file name ok this is about how to create files this is our theory session let us see the practical session in our next class hope you enjoy the session bye